still gonna try to do the 60 but because I know I'm cramping up now I'm actually running to I'm actually running to my mother's house <laughs> so she lives on the other end of the city and uh, I'm gonna change the plan the strategy here and I think she has a bike uh, that I can use and a helmet so I'm gonna do the last 30 hypoxic so I'm not gonna do the last 10 here I'm gonna suck it up and suck up this this uh, air quality for the last 10 kilometers and then I'll hypoxic on the bike for as far as I can go so uh, 30 kilometer run well I guess now run walk but uh, and then 30 kilometers back on a bike hypoxic all right so I'm gonna walk it off and uh, I'll give it maybe oh here this is the distance 19.81 two hours and 25 minutes uh, again my worst time <laughs> worst time ever but it's okay I'm being a little bit gross right now but can't help it <laughs> all right so um, yeah a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna run uh, I'm already two-thirds of the way so I'm almost done again nothing ever works as planned that's okay make adjustments keep moving right all right let's do this so for uh, for those in YYC you guys know where this is this is uh, I'm just going over the bridge here and I'm entering into uh, Fish Creek Park so beautiful a little smoggy but <laughs> looks good looks nice so since I stopped I put, put this back on because I was sweating cool air dropped my body temperature uh, really fast uh, with the sweat so this helps <laughs> So normally, normally on my um, 30 kilometer run, I don't stop at all. So even if I have to walk, I walk, and I keep going. So I saw this bench here. Um, I started running and I, my body would signal me to walk. So I'd get a twitch cramp in my calf. So then I'd uh, have to stop running. So I'm walking. So I'm just gonna take a second here to really recoup and uh, just enjoy the sights here for a little bit. Um, and yeah, just uh, that way, once I'm rejuvenated, refreshed, I wish I brought some bars, and, uh, but uh, I'm gonna recoup and then head off again. Here's my distance, here's my time. So, did it reset, what the? So, um, I thought my watch reset the time, but I guess when I stopped, it reset, so, so that's uh, what it says right now. But if I press the pause, it'll give me the actual distance and time. So, right now I'm 24 kilometers in, three, three hours and 20 minutes. So I get my worst time, <laughs> but. It's not about that, I guess, today, because I am pushing it different ways. So, 
I'm cramping up pretty bad. Like I haven't said that already. But I'll try running a bit. The cramps kick in again. But what am I gonna do, right? I just, can't just roll over here. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Alright, so I'll get there. And like I said, still gonna do the 60, just re-strategize. That's all. But uh it's beautiful out here though. Other than you know like just walking out in the open. With the new addition, I don't often get a chance to get out in a little bit of nature too often. Um, so this is actually kind of nice. I actually got excited about doing this, doing this run. So the wife knows I like to occasionally push myself and she's like, you know, you're going to be out for like a week, right? <laughs> I said, that's okay. You know, at this distance, I get to check off a couple of workout boxes and, uh, that's good. So, so uh, I don't mind pushing the body. Just gotta make sure I recover, right? And that's it. So I've been doing running walks up to this point. I've just been staring at that bridge. As it's getting closer, it's kind of like a landmark checkpoint for my mind right now. So I'll, I'll walk till the cramp goes away and I'll run till the cramp comes back and repeat. <laughs> So almost there. So I thought my watch, I thought my watch lost the time because I stopped, but I just had to change the display. So I tapped the watch and it actually, there it is. Three and a half hours, 24 kilometers, 24.78 and walking pace. <laughs> so 24.7 almost almost there I'm gonna try to get a shot of this. I always find it so weird that there's these pelicans here in Canada. Check this out. It's weird, right? Pelicans? Canada? Something, something weird about that. All right, just a little bit past four hours here. Uh, 28 kilometers. So I'm gonna do a little bit less running at this point. Um, Cause I know I gotta take the hill, that hill there. I'm still gonna do run, run walk intervals uh, based on the cramps, but I wanna save some of the energy because I'm gonna try to take that entire hill in one go. And uh, it'll be my finish strong. So either, either I take out the hill or my leg will lock out and it takes me out. And uh, I'll just have to sit it out <laughs> uh, for a good five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, until my legs work again. So, so yeah, so back at it, 28.1, four hours and seven minutes. Not too happy about the time, but you know, I'm gonna do it. There's always the next time to beat that time. So there we go. Coming up to the hill here. I'm gonna be uh, running up that thing. There's a pathway, so the concrete pathway 
goes between there and then up there so um so that's what i'll be doing so almost there all right i'm at the hill here so i'm gonna take this camera i have a clip for this that way i don't have to hold the camera and i'm gonna hydrate and it's time to go All right, so the angle is going to be really bad, but I'll take it. I'll take it off once I hit the top of the hill. Man, I really need to take a leak really bad. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's do this. It's you or me, man. Morning. All right. Cramps kicking in. I gotta keep going. Ah. Tried. Guess you don't win all of them, right? <laughs> all right. So, so cramped and stuck. So, like I said, kind of sucks <laughs> I gotta get back up there uh, so close I gotta keep going 
Okay. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I remember this. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, destination's right there. Four and a half hours. <laughs> what a bad time. But it's okay. Feeling good that I'm. I can see the checkpoint right there. So it's good. You <laughs> stink. That's okay. Uh. <laughs>